Hey, what's up you guys? Today's video is going to be on 10 tips on owning a chinchilla. Um, which is pretty much just a do and don't kind of thing. Look at her. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Having a dust bath? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna, um, read off my 10 tips for you. And, yeah, Rose is out and the box isn't here anymore from yesterday. So that's moved out. Um... And I'm going to clean up Rose's cage later because I don't have a garbage bag down here. So I have to get one and then I'll clean it out. So yeah, there's Rose. Jasmine's up at her usual, as at her usual spot. Um, oh, <laughs> my tip number one would be, um, many people have trouble trying to get their chinchillas where they want them to go. Either in a playpen or getting them out of their cage just to clean it. So... A tip here would be, chinchillas love dust baths, obviously, if you have one. Um, they love dust baths, so what you can do is take the dust bath house, if you have the ones from a pet store, like the house-shaped ones, you know what I'm talking about? So if you have that, you can stick that in their cage, in their playtime, I mean in their play area, and um, you can stick that in there, and they'll jump in there, and then... You just cover up the hole with your hand, just like this, and then lift the house and put them in the back of their cage or in their spot where you need to put them for cage cleaning and stuff. Um, that's really not, as, I mean, it's less stressful for the chinchilla instead of trying to grab them in their cage or chase them when they're out playing. So it's a good idea if your chinchilla is still not used to you yet, and it's a great way to just uh, transfer them somewhere safely. Um, another tip would be to make sure they have a safe area to play in. If they don't have a safe area, you're just going to be chasing them around, telling them, don't chew on this, um, especially when there's wires around, especially me, because this, this room is an office area, so I really have to have things covered up, because pretty much over here is just, like, wires and wires. So, um, covering all that stuff up is very important. Um, hi, Rose. Gonna say hi? Gonna say hi to your fans? Hello! Hi! <laughs> so cute! So, having things covered like this, cardboard boxes, or you can use a big playpen that attaches from both sides of your cage, and then you can let the door open to let them come out. And another tip is to always leave the door open while they're having playtime. Their cage is their safe spot, so you, they want to run back in there if they hear a noise or something like that. So I'll leave that open for them. And if you have a playpen, you can just attach it to the sides of the cage and then it'll go around and then just like hook onto the other side so it's all safe for them. Buying cool hanging toys and stuff will encourage your chinchilla's natural chewing behavior. Um, their teeth are open rooted so they grow throughout their whole life and can grow two to three inches a year, which is a lot. I mean, our teeth don't do that, so it's a lot. Um, so yeah. Uh, buying, there's a lot of cool hanging toys and stuff you can buy online if you search it and stuff. Um, I have a Chinchilla Websites video if you want to go check that out. It's, you can find it on my channel somewhere. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool websites you can buy things off of for your, uh, Chinchilla. So they really like to chew on things and the, the toys aren't that expensive. It depends on which ones you get. Um, pumice stones are nice for Chinchillas. My Chinchillas don't use them, but, um... Some chinchillas do, and then those are only like a dollar. I've seen those for a dollar on some websites, so it's not a lot. Um, it's very cheap. So, yeah. Rosie. <laughs> she likes to sit in my hand. So, yeah. Interacting with your chinchilla every day will get them used to you. I mean, if you interact with them every day, you'll be used to them, and they'll be used to you. So that'll get them bonded, bonded to you. And giving them treats while you try to bond with them also helps, in case you want to do that. But remember, only one to two a day. Also, you want to place your chinchilla's cage in a quiet, clean, and safe area for your chinchillas. Um, this room is very quiet. Um, it's actually should be um, in temperatures less than 75 degrees. Um, anything over 75 degrees can be very harmful for your chinchilla. Um, they cannot go any temperatures higher than that, so I keep my chinchillas in the basement, 
which is a perfect 65 degrees, um, like all the time. And in the summer, oh, someone's hyper. <laughs> someone's hyper, yeah. <laughs> so even in the summertime, it'll be about 60 degrees. So it's, it's um, their fur is very soft. If you poke them, like your finger will like indent, keep going and going. <laughs> but like, yeah, just make sure the temperature is nice and it's quiet. Um, they do sleep during the day because they are creeposcu- I can never pronounce that word, but it's like creeposcu- I don't know. Something like that. Um, so, during the day they want to sleep and not be bothered by, um, like screaming little kids or something like that. So, just make sure they're in a quiet place and uncluttered so when they come out of their cage it's not very uh, messy and they can actually run around. Also, another great idea is to, if you think your chinchilla is getting lonely, you can buy them a friend, um, or adopt from a rescue. Um, I got Rose a friend, Jasmine, but they actually don't bond well together right now. So, but it's getting a lot better because a lot of you, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. But yeah, it's been getting better. Um, they do get along well. My thing is that they get along if they are if they are in a different cage that none of them has ever been in before and a whole different room which none of them has ever been in. There they don't have any sense or like advantages in their cage. So they actually don't fight at all when it's like that and they were in a cage for like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, but you never know that could be nothing, you know. And I don't want to put them in a cage just like randomly cuz chinchillas can fight with each other to like the death. So, I don't want to harm them like that. Okay, so this is probably the most important thing. There's some rumors going around on the internet saying that you should feed your chinchilla vegetables. That statement is completely false. You should never feed your chinchilla vegetables. It's very bad for them. It can actually get, um, it'll cause an imbalance in the chin's gut and trigger a buildup of harmful toxins in the intestines and the bowel area of a chinchilla, which can pretty much kill them. So you do not want to give them any type of vegetable, even if it's on a rare occasion. So just don't do that. Stay away from that. Save all your vegetables for your guinea pigs, <laughs> which is what I do. So you just don't want to do that. Okay, so another thing you do not want to do is get your chinchilla if you have a female chinchilla, do not get it a male friend. Another thing is, if you have a male chinchilla, do not get it a female friend. Um, they will mate and cause babies, or kits are what they called. Um, chinchilla breeding is a very complicated thing, so it's better you just don't get a male-female pair. It's um, very dangerous. If your female chinchilla becomes pregnant, then there's many possible genetics and stuff that can go wrong with a chinchilla that is pregnant. Um, there's things that are called um, the lethal factor, which is another breeding thing that you have to be aware of. And there's mummified kits, and it's just a lot of nasty stuff. So just don't buy a male-female pair. Um, another obvious tip would be never give your chinchilla a water bath. Their fur is very um, special. And it cannot uh, work with water very well. The water can actually get trapped underneath because it's so, like, um, fluffy and stuff. So just don't give them water baths. Um, I think that's pretty obvious for um, a chinchilla owner. If you didn't know that and you're a chinchilla owner, then it's good that you know that now. So, yeah. Another good tip to remember, which is my last tip, is to don't... Um, expose your chinchilla to plastic, even though I have plastic right here. I'll show you myself. Um, I have plastic right over here. Jasmine, I cover it up anyway, but Jasmine doesn't try to get at it. Um, she doesn't try to get at the plastic. She's not a chewer. She barely chews on her wood shells. And Rose chews on everything that is near her face. So, um, I just don't give her plastic. Don't give them plastic. It can cause impactions in their stomach and can um, lead to death. So that's another important thing. Um, even though 
um, there's like igloos and stuff that you can buy at the stores. Just stay away from those. Stay to wooden houses and just natural things like that instead of plastic. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed my 10 tips on chinchillas. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can just comment below. And if you didn't remember any of the tips, I will be putting them in the description bar. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, just go check that out at the um, description bar. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!